Good morning everyone, this is Anna from Lexinger Journals. I hope you're um, all having a good weekend. This is our Crafting Friday video and uh, we're going to finish off this. And just a little reminder, this is inside our band which is well secured now and everything. A little pocket. It's quite cute and cute maybe is not the word but anyway <laughs> and uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to finish off the outside and I'm going to add these and that will make it like a little a little um, I've cut yeah, I've cut a couple of pieces of leather and I'll tell you why because this is quite thick I need it to balance it out so I could put these here so it can close without you know kind of going you know moving around and we will we will glue these first on I put plenty of glue here because Oh, it's a kind of, kind of a thick thing. It's and it's leather. So, but it doesn't. I don't think it will matter. This glue is just, just. I've never ever had an issue with this glue. It always ends up gluing everything well. Um, and I'm gonna make sure that this is all the way in here. And we would have them there, around there. And I'll get the other one glued on as well. And they add something to it because they're little leather pieces, so they add a little bit of extra attraction to the whole thing. There, that's ready. As I said, this is going to go as a Christmas giveaway f uh, gift from me, and I last the last giveaway didn't work out very well. The lady who actually won it hasn't got back to me, which is a bit of a shame. So I'm going to put the, the what uh, I'll give it another few weeks, and then I'm going to put it in the shop what we made. Um, it's just um, it's just a shame because I don't think sometimes people don't properly understand or follow the giveaway, and well, they miss out. I yeah, I'm a bit. I don't know, I'm a bit disappointed and I don't know how else I can do it if anybody had any ideas. So I went, um, we went with my daughter to the cinema last night and we saw um, Downton Abbey. And I don't know if any of you have watched it before on the series or if it's come to your countries and you've seen it on, on Netflix. I don't think it's on Netflix, I think it's on Amazon Prime. We were looking for the series because we never we never watched the series so so we thought maybe we could start watching the series as well and we enjoyed it we enjoyed it it was nice it was like it was nice it was nothing you know it was it was fun to watch it was entertaining, entertaining. and a good insight on the aristocracy of the of the, the British aristocracy I guess <laughs> but it was fun and I'm not going to make any other comments about it, but yeah, I'll leave it to you to decide if you want to go and see the film or watch it at some stage. But we were originally going to see The Goldfinch and um, it just didn't work out with our timing because it's a very long film. So we thought we'd go and see it another day, but we're not going to miss that because that's, that's a film I really, really want to see. I read the book. We both, both my daughter and I, read the book, and it was we 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 liked it. We liked Donatard. So there, this is this is um, it's lightweight. way to do it I think is just to clip it on first
you think? That looks nice. to dry. Let's wait for it to dry like this. And then I'll do the same. Keep it together while it's gluing and again the other one. <coughs> not so perfectly balanced look here <laughs> if um, if you want to do it a little bit more uh, yeah if you want everything to be perfect obviously you just cut them all through <clears throat> beforehand and straighten them properly and all that but I think I'm just gonna go for the more rustic look <laughs> in this case which is fun as well I like that and and next time we maybe make a project like this, we can cut them all beforehand into perfect little pieces, perfect little square pieces or rectangle pieces or whatever. did this before. I'm gonna flip it onto the other part here so that it attaches easier. While the glue is still not completely dry, I'm going to attach them, close it, so it's all done properly, and leave it like that to dry. So I'll show you in the end when it 
once when we finish with our other project I'll show you what it looks like. What it all and, and how it all worked out. Okay. Okay, now wow, that was something. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and make a handle for it as well. A little handle and um I'll do a video in the week for that, sometime next week, sorry, sometime next uh, week, maybe on Friday again, I'll, I'll show you how I did the handlebars, I don't want to experiment here, and I have another project anyway ready to start with, and these are the, diff the different things I've got for the project, and uh, the idea is on this one, layering, layering, things that don't actually belong to each other. <laughs> actually this I, I'm not going to use, I'm going to use another a journal that I'm planning to do. And here is my little basket with my, the ribbons that I use on the, on, on the spines. I just thought you might want to have a little look at them, they're pretty. And most of you might recognize some of them. <laughs> And this is some sari silk that I've got left over. So, um, so I'm going to use some of this, um, some of this on this. And I think the red, the red part goes much better. This, yeah, this goes nicely, but I think the red is a lot more suitable. And. also goes well with our, all this. So uh, I have this lace. I will be using a lot more lace, but I didn't see if I've got anything else that I could add to it. Because I've got another basket full of bits and pieces that we could use. I've got this. And there's a bit more of this lovely French lace. I haven't got much left, but I'll use that and do this. <laughs> Always love this. And this. And we'll decide which which one goes best. Which I should which one I should be using. And I think I would like yeah. I've got some of this twine. So we are going to layer and make a journal cover with all this. That's what I thought we can do together today. Just today and maybe next time as well. Layer and make a journal cover. And then that can go into the shop. And if anybody would like it, they can buy it and, and make their own journal from it. Okay, I think I haven't got anything else that would get well with this. And uh, let's let's begin. Let the games begin. Okay. Um, so I've got a. Let's see. Yes, I've got something I, I can use. Okay, so this will be our base. One of 
like these and that was meant to become a journal and it never it never made it to the final process I didn't I decided against it so I'm gonna use it today as a medium to layer to layer it and I will send with it this the, the other side so when somebody purchases it they can actually have um, both the sides so they can make their journal from that because otherwise it might be a bit of a pain to find the right um, sizes for it so I hope that makes sense I think that makes sense doesn't it So, well, to start with, I don't. I need something a bit bigger to cover my, my book underneath. And these are, yeah, and the color goes well. These are some leftovers from the book I was make. The sorry, the books I was making. The end papers, and I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this as a, um, a base because it's a lovely marble paper. So I love these layering. I don't do them on the journals when I make the journals, and I will. I, I was, I'm planning on making a journal that's kind of layered with a layered cover and all kind of not messy, but just just all layered up. But this could be a nice start, a nice kind of experiment for, for, a, for a journal like that. So, this is an A5 size, which is an A4 folded. And this is one, one you know, the, the, the beginning of it, really, the, the face. And we can put this map on. It's very thin paper. But it doesn't matter because it's going to be covered with other things as well. Okay. And over this, now so, so I tried to make sure the colors kind of work out well and match. So um, I think they're okay. I'm just at the moment I haven't studied this before I'm just layering just layering and we'll see what comes out so what I'm trying to say here is um, be brave and layer <laughs> that will be our motto for today be brave and layer and it doesn't matter because it will always I think it will always work out nicely because it, it while you're in the process of layering, you will be also trying to make it look aesthetically pleasing. And that's the way it works out in the end. So I'm going to let this um, be seen on the side here. This is going to look out, I think it's going to look really interesting. And then we'll, you know, with, I'm using this strong glue, so nothing's going to come out. Come, it's the glue that I use for the book binding. It's not the other glue. It's the book binding glue, and this honestly seals everything in. And this is a bit too much. Um, there's a music paper that. I can use to cover the parts that I don't like here. Um, you know, from the paper underneath, which I like, but I don't think it, the colors go very well with what I'm doing. So I'm gonna cover it up. I try to 
try to make sure that ends here meet up and there are no parts left to uncover so that they don't show out. And there's a little bit of leaf. So it looks like things are growing, you know, things are climbing up and growing. That's the, the way I like these things to, to look like. Like there's things coming out of little corners and showing and there. Oh, come on. Get stuck in. That's it. Done. There. And flower little flower here these are different they you find them in the end of chapters in books and I what I did was I collected them I put them all on a piece of paper and then when I do when I like to to do some some of them I just I've I've scanned them and I actually no I don't scan them I photocopy them and they come out and they can be used. And I'll show you what I mean. Put it there. Oh, it's in the photocopy. Yeah. Oh, so there they are. These are the originals. And they they get photocopied. And if you photocopy them on paper like this, which is ivory, uh, afterwards you can use them directly very easy. So that's how I do it. I had this piece of leather here which I will use, as, um, I, th I thought I could use as a closure but then to use as a closure what I'm, uh, I might do is I might, I might um, attach it on one side of the journal and then and or just send it off <laughs> as it is. <laughs> send it off with the journal. This doesn't go well. I'll put this here because it looks like a, a continuation. You see how quickly we run out of papers when we do the layering. It's just with this, I I like I'd like to have something that is a central piece, like a piece that will is the focus. As as we always try to do, we try to balance things out and have a focus. On these um, projects and this there is there has to be a focus with this one and so in this case the map is probably our focus um, and we'll frame it with something like this with a paper is how I'm going to frame it. So I don't know how one person would use it as a journal, in, in, in what kind of journal one would make. Um, the cover is there, so the journal will be... You know, it would be really your choice, one, one's choice of how to make. Part. So we've framed it nicely, and what we li I like to do, I'd like to do here, is I would like to add this, which is a beautiful Anna Griffin flower, and I'm in an Anna Griffin mood at the moment, and I will add this and cover, like this, this way, part of the lace, and it'll look like it's part of it so you can this could be considered let's say our centerpiece or not depends on 
what we want to achieve and, and what our point is. But in this case, there is no point. I'm just, the whole fun of it is that I'm trying to do something that's a little bit more abstract, but at the same time, it covers lots of themes. So. And you can use, I'm using up some of my stuff there. This one will look like it's coming out from there. And this is another layer. So we've got a few layers now already done there. I'm gonna make sure it's all attached properly. And This glue dries up immediately. It's a bit like a Mod Podge, but it's in my I, I like it more. Okay, so this is made in Britain. <laughs> a little ribbon here, and I'll add that because maybe people would like to have that as part of the whole picture. Because it was made in Britain, to be fair. Mm. Here, that's it, and it covers the corner. So it's a bit like the Franken pages we make, isn't it? But very much like them, only no sewing in this case and all just layering. So how else can we finish this off? Do we want this here? I can't hear you. Can't hear you. Yes, I'll put that there. Don't need them all, both the sides of the tab. Bit of Nick the Booksmith Femur on the tab. And ah little piece of leather which I said I liked very much didn't I so I'll, I'll use that here and on the end I spray it all on and it really gets attached so you can use it as a journal without any trouble nothing's gonna come off let's go here there what do you think what do you think I went on the stairs now I have some moss and it's been, it was, I used it recently on the other journal I made, the fossil journal. So it, it can go here. This needs a little bit longer to, to glue on. But it, once it's glued and sprayed on, it'll be fine. Whatever's left of it. <laughs> No, it'll be fine, don't worry. It takes a bit of time to, to, to get more to glue on. Patience. Do we have any of that? This is a bit too flimsy to go on, but and then I've got this lovely French lace, which can go over.
these. I keep gluing, I keep making, I keep adding glue. So. It doesn't mean I think it does. Twine and give it a little frame. And I'll just put a little bit through here. So you see what I'm doing here is I'm tying it all up nicely like you're tying a gift, a present, in such a way so that it won't come off. <laughs> and nicely done. And I'm not going to bow it, I'm going to get a bow on it because then it'll be a bit too much. But if anybody doesn't like the uh, final twine, it can be removed very easily because it's not going to be attached too much on it. So my hands. <laughs> there we are. So this is the front cover of our journal and or a uh, I don't know a, a piece that a piece that can be used as a as a cover for a box or anything else. So like, we'll leave it there and next time next Friday we hopefully we are going to do we are going to make um, something um, a design for the back and, and then you'll have the cover and I think over, over that we will um, actually no we can do it today because we're finish off with a bit of gold <laughs> why not huh? it's perfect the gold it always goes well with things and we will cover the details with it. And you saw me, I just went straight on and, and added it in the first place I, I thought needed it and I think this is where it was needed because of the the um, the way it's attached on and onto the journal and this way you won't it won't mess with the the whole combination of things. <laughs> there we are. So today we did a bit of layering, so that's that's what I, I will title this. we like and it's ready so next time as I said we're going to go through the uh, back and finish off this cover journal cover for everyone okay well I hope you enjoyed this and it, now that you know what we're doing maybe if anybody would be interested you can just take out your own things and and start layering as well next time with me <laughs> and we will talk again next Friday. So here is a closer look of it. And I will do a little bit here. Uh, have a lovely weekend, rest of your weekend. And we'll talk again next Friday.